That's a good one. That's a big one. That's a big one. If you like this video, 350 likes, we'll come buy him a kayak. Please, 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 please buy me a kayak. No please like the video. Right Not that many people do the roach, but everybody that's done the spider seems like they at least catch like two to three. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's our first one. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the parking lot of the very beautiful store, Field and Stream. It's kind of like a Dick's. I know a lot of people probably don't have these where you're from. Um, it's basically like a Dick's Sporting Goods mixed with like a Bass Pro. I got a 14 year old with me that thinks the Sporting Goods store is funny. That's all the camera is shaking right now. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so uh, basically this store, I came in, I came in here probably three months ago and they had these like crazy top water lures, but it was still too cold to catch a bass on top water. So we're back today trying to, hopefully they still have them. And if they do have them, we're gonna fish with them. So it's like the crate, you know, Lunker Hunt comes out with like the spiders and all that. We're gonna go cop some of that, the crazy Lunker Hunt stuff, but hopefully they have it. If they have it, then we're gonna buy it. If they don't have it, then I guess this will never make it on the YouTubes. Leave a like. If this video gets to 350 likes, we will come back and we will buy Quan, my cousin over there, we'll buy him a kayak. We'll come back over here, 350 likes on the video. That's a very low, low goal, I feel like. So, you come like the video if you wanna see this, this young boy, this young man, excuse me, get a kayak. If you like this video, 350 likes, we'll come buy him a kayak. Please, 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 please buy me a kayak. Please like the video. Yeah, he's going, where are you going to the ninth grade? If you're going to the ninth grade? Eight. Hey, so if, he, if we get 350 likes from the video, not only will I buy him a kayak, but I'll take him to his first day of the eighth grade on the kayak. I'll tie you behind my truck and I'll drive you in. Mm. You guys hold me to that. All right, we're gonna go in and see. I think they might be closed. Never mind, they might not be. Oh, no, Let's see you. I don't yeah, you know do. how to do it. No, I don't. Go I don't know how to Go do Q. it. I don't know how to do it. Go Q. Hit it. Do hit it. Hit it for us one time. It. Just give us a little quick one. <laughs> give us a little quick one. You can't stand behind the camera and think you safe. <laughs> hit it, Q. Hit it, Q. <laughs> I'm just hit it. Hit it. Do it. Chill, chill, <laughs> chill, chill. Help me. You got to watch them because they'll fight. this but it has like sushi under the bottom of it and I want that one but I don't know if I'll be able to find it I have a code in the bottom of this video L Melton 22 I think is the code it'll save you 10% on your first AFCO order so if you want this sexy t-shirt I have on right here or this sexy hat 10% off L Melton 22 I know I mean I, I can't help that I can get y'all discounts use the code go buy go buy something right now pause the video and come back to it after you spent your money on AFCO's website. All right guys, so we had to ask an employee, but we found the top of our stuff is actually back over here on this other side. He said they had more, but I don't see it. So, oh wait, it's right here. Ooh, the lizard. What do you think? What do you think? They have a kit. So they have this, this lizard. I don't know what that mimics, if there's lizards actually in the ponds that I fish like this. I mean, that doesn't look like a lizard. It looks like a baby Komodo dragon to me. Like the dragon off of Jesse. Yeah. You know? It looks like that. But, and they have a snake. I know this thing will probably get eight because there's a whole bunch of water moccasins and whatnot out there. That thing will probably get slurped. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. We have some different lizard options, but we're going to go over here. I'm going to show you all this kit. And I was going to say, y'all let me know what I should get, but you can't because you're going to watch this after I've already caught fish on it. So that doesn't make any sense. But, um, I don't think we're gonna go for the dragonfly. We've caught fish on the spider before, like two, three years ago. So I'd be down to get another spider, but I bought the dragonfly and the dragonfly just doesn't, like, it didn't work at all. That's as blunt as I can put it, it just didn't work. I wish, oh, they do have just a spider. All right, so I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the spider. Is this a spider or is that a beetle? What do you think, is that a spider or a beetle? Oh, it's a roach, the reckless roach. <laughs> so we're gonna fish the reckless roach. And... Battle beetle, this is what I was looking for. I think this is like a wake bait. I feel like that's gonna be tough though. I don't have that much confidence in wake bait. What do you think, should I do a frog? 
Or should I do a white bait? White bait. White bait. You were supposed to say frog cube. All right, so we're gonna go with these two. We're gonna go with the white bait. Greg bought that lizard, and the lizard wasn't any good. Like it fell apart in two casts, kind of like that dragonfly. So I think we might stick with the beetle and the spider. Cause I know, well, the roach. Excuse me. <laughs> but the spider actually did really good, but they don't have any more. So we're just gonna rock with the roach for right now. Lunker hunt. I don't know how you come up with all this crazy stuff, but. Some of it works, some of it is absolutely dog water. I'm not gonna lie to you. Some of the stuff that Lunker Hunt has is like actually kind of good, and some of it like this is just So, in my opinion, the dragonfly is And what else did I say? The dragonfly sucks, and the uh, spider's pretty good. The lizard isn't that good. Greg had the lizard, and it was like maybe three or four casts, no fish, and it was three or four lizards after that, so. We're gonna cop this stuff. I think we're only gonna be out like $20, so that's gonna be perfect. We're gonna go fish with it next time you see us. We will be on the boat trying to catch some big mouth bass. See y'all, peace. All right, guys, we are out here this morning with the two Field and Stream Crazy Top Water Lures. We have the little Battle Beetle and the Roach. So, not sure if there's roaches in this pond. Me personally, I've never seen any. It's just the trophy pond. We've been coming out here a lot. Hoping to catch a couple, but I'm starting off with the crankbait because there's people in the spot where I want to fish this morning. I don't want to go fish like right on top of them. So I'm gonna try to be respectful, but if it takes them too long, I'm gonna go back there and join them. <laughs> and also we don't have too too long, so we might have to come back out here and do this another day. Where the top water bite dies all the way down, but that's what we're out here with the intent of doing this morning. Just trying to catch a few on the old battle beetle and speed cockroach. All right, guys, we switched over to the little roach. I've had like a little bluegill try to eat it, but no bass yet. We've only been fishing it for probably about 10, 15 minutes. So not giving up on it, but actually I've done the spider before. I've done the spider for a video before, like probably one of my first videos, hardcore on the channel. when I was like grinding over the summer, first summer grind, you know, but, um, yeah, so I did the spider and like going into it, I was like, there's no way this thing works. But I think I ended up catching like eight on it. I didn't catch any big ones, but as far as just like catching fish, it worked. So I'm kind of hoping for the same thing with this roach, even though I'm fishing in a totally different pond. Um, I've only had a few decent topwater days out here and that's mainly been on like walking baits and whatnot, but I'm sure we can find the right fish to eat this. So I'm really not so worried about this. I'm more worried about the wake bait because I've never had good luck on a wake. I don't think I've ever caught a fish on a wake bait in general. Like the wake beaver that Berkeley came out with, I tried to catch something on it, never happened. Although that thing was huge. Um, and then also I have that wake beetle today and I I don't know, I'm just kinda, I'm not scared to throw it. I just never know what to expect when it comes to something like a lure like that. So and a couple of the other ones just isn't there. I mean, the roach and the spider, they get bites. And then it seems like everybody that I've seen that's fish, I've seen a lot of people do the spider. I haven't seen that many people do the roach, but everybody that's done the spider, seems like they at least catch like two to three. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's our first one. That's our first one on the, let's go. Oh, don't spit it, don't spit it. <laughs> Dude, I was not expecting to be able to hook up the first time. Like, the, uh, I guess I did miss one or two. I was like, there's no way we hook up on the first. Dude, he ate it good, too. Come here. Oh, yeah. Dude, he choked it. Let's go. Let's go, baby. On the freaking roach. It's a bass. I think the action on this is just so subtle because it's not like a popper. Like, it's not a popper. It's not a chopo. It's not anything that's like, there's no top water bait like it. So I think that's why it probably does so good is because the fish are like, oh, that's, it looks so natural, you know? There's no hooks hanging out of the bottom, the back or anything like that. 
kind of like a frog, but like doesn't give off as much commotion as the frog does. And also has, ow, gosh, you have sharp teeth and you are so strong for such a smaller size fish. Whew, let's go. That's fish number one. We have all of our legs. I think that's what happened to my spider. I lost all the legs on it. It's like every fish I caught a leg will fall off. Dude, I was not expecting to hook up on the first one. Or I guess second one. Guess we didn't hook up on the first one actually. Let's see there's another one back there. Man, I have not said this in some time. We got a little bit of cool in there this morning. We just had a little breeze hit my legs and I was like, ooh, it's a little cold out here. <laughs> got some diamond cutters. You know, I'd love to be able to see what bass think they see when they come up and eat some top water lures or just lures in general. Like, what do they think this is? Do they just think it's a meal? Or like, do they know it's supposed to be a roach or a spider? Or just some type of insect? Like, like when a fish sees this underwater and it's like coming to eat that. Or like when it sees it land, it's like, oh, that's a roach. <laughs> oh, I know that, that's a roach. Yes. Why well, I had a roach since Tuesday. Oh, I need me a roach. I need me one of them roaches, boy. I'm gonna eat you. So, I mean, more than likely it imitates a spider more than a roach. Like the spider probably did so good. So they're like, oh, we can make a roach and just make it look just like a spider. Which I will say the body is a little bit firmer on it, which I think it'll be better for a few more fish. Like, like I said, I caught about eight and then the legs start to fall off of the spider. All right guys, so we spent a full day trying to catch one. When I say a full day, I mean all morning and all evening trying to catch one on that. On that, I don't even know what it is, honestly. That black wake bait, I hate wake baits, and it didn't work out. So I got a little frustrated and I just decided to scratch that. I threw it away in the trash, 100% honest. I don't want to see it anymore. So we threw it away and then we went back out. I just want to start fresh, so we went back out. It's really hot, so we have a couple of days in fishing. We tried to do some creek stuff, that didn't work. We didn't catch a single creek fish. So we ended up going back to the lake and we tried to do something else. And we, I don't wanna say what happened, but we caught, we hooked into a big one, for sure. We definitely hooked into a big one. I watched it back, it was definitely a fish and it was probably, I'd say it was at least four plus. And on the small side, it was four plus, but like if I had to put a number on it, I'd say it was at least like a six or so. What's up guys welcome back to another video so before i turn on the camera i rigged up a couple of crankbaits we have this one right here 13 foot diving crankbait so this one's one of those deep boys right here it's like i said in a previous video i was like i really wish that berkeley would put the depth that all the crankbaits dive on the bottom of all of the crankbaits some of them have it some of them don't but like when you take them out of the pack, sometimes I forget. I know you can normally tell about the body and the bill a range, but that range with bigger crankbaits could be anywhere from eight foot to 20 foot, depending on the size of it. So that first one I just showed y'all is, yeah, so 13 foot diver, uh, bluegill pattern. I think we should be able to catch something big on this. It's been super hot here today and for the past couple of days. Every day, every day since the fourth has just been you know, like heat advisory, heat show, so. We have, I feel like our best method of catching a lot of fish today is probably gonna be a deep crankbait and also finding a big one deep. And then also we have this kind of like clear one. I really like these color patterns, eight and a half foot. I like the color. I've never fished a bluegill pattern that's kind of see-through like this. So I'm interested to see how it does. Um, I feel like there will be a, they either want this one or they want the solid one. I don't think there's gonna be any middle ground on this. So. We have that, and then also we have the good old shad pattern crankbait tied on today. So we got a whole bunch of different options of lures. I really think that all these fish are probably gonna be deep. We don't have, I had chatterbaits tied on. These are actually chatterbait rods that I'm throwing these crankbaits on today. Just because I, it's been so hot today and like no cloud cover or nothing. It's probably gonna be a little slow if I had to guess. And also we're gonna have to fish deep, so. That's what we got going into today. Um, 
we're gonna just go straight over here to this back dam right here and try to see if we can't find some so stay tuned also guys i've been wanting i've been meaning to tell y'all this if you really just want a really good solid rod don't want to spend or reel excuse me if you want a good solid reel you don't want to spend two three hundred dollars on a combo or on a reel this max pro right here i've had it for about a year now and this thing is absolutely sweet i said it when i first i did a review video on this on my channel somewhere last year and i said this reel really feels like a zeta or a higher dollar abu reel um it can compete with any of the revos i feel like personally but this is one of those that's like 80 dollars in walmart and i feel like they kind of outdid their sales on this one for 80 dollars all right so i think i want to start with the little translucent transparent lure right here i think that 13 that's the max this pond probably gets is 12 to 13 foot so it might be a little bit too deep in some situations but we're still going to try it out too because if anything we can drag it along the bottom and maybe get some fish catch something like that so stay tuned we are going to go over to our little spot over here and see if we can't find some cranking bait fish one thing i've always said is fish aren't any deeper than, or any different than you so if you're hot if it's hot outside you're hot the fish are probably hot too so what you're going to want to do is either find one of two things either cover or deep water to fish right now we're in five foot of water but the deeper water is that way we just don't want to miss anything through here if you're hot i promise you the fish are hot too they're probably not going to be up at the surface especially not right now it's it's six seven o'clock but it's still like that middle of the day heat we're in the dog days of summer right now so i wouldn't pick up a top water until like the last 30 minutes is that a fish do we already have one? i think that is one. Oh, we got one second cast I, oh he came off no i think no he didn't no he didn't he still oh dude that might be a big one unless he just hit another stick oh yes dude that's like cast number three that eight and a half foot diving crankbait let's go are we gonna have one of those money days today or this is the only fish that we catch today stay calm stay calm there we go hey oh dropped you i'm so sorry that could have killed you dude that could have killed you why are you doing that why are you acting like that that was oh, 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 oh. look at that look at that this fish number one not a big one it's probably about a pound or so we'll give them that see ya we knocked a couple scales off of them when we dropped them on that translucent crankbait okay might be a good sign we got fish number one three minutes into fishing so but yeah like i was saying um oh dude I think we just got hit again. What? What is? What? What? What is that? What does that mean? Hot days, deep water, deeper water. I'm not fishing up against the bank. I'm not going to be throwing a choppo right now or chatterbait. Like if I really, really had to catch one, I'm probably going to just go to the deeper water, catch one, and then catch a bigger, bigger size fish. I know that one wasn't too crazy big, but that was the first one, and we're still just in six foot of water where we're at right here. So, kind of figured that was a bluegill when he first hit it because it. It was kind of close to these trees right here. Ooh, dude, that was another, unless that tree's bigger than what I think it is. That was another hit right there on the other side of that tree. I think by the time we get to these little three posts sticking out of the water right here, or the two back ones, it should get a little bit deeper. So if we're lucky enough to catch one over there, the size should be a little bit better. I think this is like the same brush pile or whatever right here that I lost my last crankbait on. Who's this one? Oh. I think there'd be any worse feeling than losing a crankbait after you just catch a fish on it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, dude. Is he stuck on something? That's a fish for sure. This is a big one if he stays home. Is that just me moving or is that... Oh, there he is. Oh. Okay. I'm not for sure this is a fish. This has to be one. That was no, it had to be a fish. I felt him. Ooh. Yeah, we got some scratches on the crankbait. Well, hold up before I say that. They're brown scratches, so it might just be. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, I have to watch that one back on the camera because when I mean when I say 
I mean, when I set the hook, it like pulled twice. I think that might have been a fish. That was another big one too. So, I mean, it pulled and then it got stuck. Like it's like I fought it for a second. I fought it for a second and then it came off. Two hours later. Oh, I had one. Dang, one just ate it right there. I don't think it was big. Maybe he'll eat it again. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how big you think that fish was that we lost because me personally, if I had to guess, I don't know, I, like I said earlier, I think it was probably about six pounds or so. But anyway, I mean, it happens as part of fishing. I always say the big ones, you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to enjoy all of the big ones fully without losing some of them. So, I mean, like when you finally hold one, when you finally hold a five plus pound bass after losing a couple of them, you're like, oh man, I've been waiting on this moment forever and this feels so good to hold this fish, so. Oh well, I mean, it's one of those things, what can you do? Yeah, I appreciate you clicking on the video. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel, guys. The fishing is really slow and tough here, but I'm trying to keep going with the every other day uploads. I'm telling you, it's like, it's dog water right now. It's horrible, it's so hot during the day. We're not having any rain clouds, we're not having any good clouds, not, not even rain clouds, good clouds, first of all. We're not having any rain, anything to kind of help cool it off or change water temperature or anything like that. So it's a grind every day, but we're figuring out, we're getting at, we're getting after it every day. So I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, you know, I'm not even gonna say yeah, you know what to do. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. Don't forget to do that though. That's the important thing. <laughs> In the bag. I'm chasing a bag, I'm racing the clock, look at him flop, watching him flop. Used to see this on my sleep, when I ain't had shit but my thoughts in the car, I really was lost. Now I'm public with the soundscapes.